Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a deep cleaning of my refrigerator. It is disgusting. Like, it's real bad. It's really embarrassing. But I'm sure I'm not the only person whose refrigerator looks like this, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on the internet anyway. These are the four types of bins that I'm going to be using in my refrigerator for the organization brought to you by my beloved Dollar Tree. What would I do without you? Okay, to start out, I'm going to take everything out of my refrigerator. I'm also going to use this time to kind of declutter, take any empty condiment bottles out or throw away expired foods. You know, the works. Do you see? Do you see why I'm doing this? Do you see all this disgustingness that's inside my refrigerator where we keep our food that we eat on a daily basis? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, we're we're not gonna do the microfiber washcloth and multi-surface spray. We need something heavy duty. We're we're gonna put some elbow grease and clean these shelves because this is just this is horrible. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray in the spring peony scent. Peony? 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 I don't really know how to say it, but it smells amazing. In my 
Next, I'm just gonna replace all of these shelves now that they have had like five minutes to dry. Okay, they're not dry at all, but my kid is napping and I have like T minus 45 minutes to get this done. So we don't have a luxury of waiting for them to dry. Just saying. And why are there crayons in my refrigerator? I don't, I don't know. Now that I got everything taken out and scrubbed down, it is finally time to start putting everything back in. I highly recommend if you do this, once you take everything out to put it in like inside a cooler or like insulated bag or something. I on the other hand just let it all sit on my kitchen table. So not the best idea, but hey, we live and we learn and that's okay. Sever the ties But I would never, ever, ever Would have believed them No reason Sometimes the truth is hard to see But now the never, ever, ever Seem to be over I saw So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me oh, oh, oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me and finally, we have the finished product. Up top here, I just have my eggs in this black basket. We usually get about 30 eggs every grocery trip. So this is the perfect size to fit all of the eggs that we need each week. And then I have some of our like larger condiments over here. On the second shelf, I just put in these little baskets, Raiden's little snacks and berries. Um, I bagged up a couple of berries here just to kind of make it like more of like a grab and go situation because the kid is literally constantly eating berries. Like I can't keep enough berries in the house. It's ridiculous. Lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. I, 
I'm not entirely sure what the drawers are supposed to be used for. I got some bacon in this one, and then the other two are empty. I have all of our cheese in here. We go through a lot of cheese in a week. It's kind of crazy. And I organized all of our condiments. Don't really know why. They're probably going to get messed up. But it looks really nice right now. Ain't no looking back, I'm on the right track Here she goes Here's a quick look at my freezer before I was able to get started. All I did was take everything out of it and just kind of wiped it down real quick and then threw away some of the old and gross stuff that just doesn't need to be in there anymore. I know the lighting is horrible, but this is a finished product of my freezer. Super tiny, not a whole lot of space, so I really wanted to utilize some of the bins that I got to kind of maximize on space that we have. So over in the doors, I just kind of put some of our odds and ends that we don't really use a whole lot. And then in the actual freezer, I have all of our meats up top, nice and organized. These are gonna be like our grilling meats. And then in the bigger locker bin here, I have some ground beef, I have some pork, all nice and portioned and ready to go. That is it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notified with every single new video. Also comment down below if you're feeling fancy. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.